All right, uh, part... Oh, fuck, I should know this. It's 15, right? Yeah. Uh, last week's Digimon was Falcomon, but it was um, the pre-Digimon Savers designed for Falcomon. So what I learned is Falcomon did exist in Digimon canon before uh, Season 5 when Ikuto um, becomes his partner. And before that, he had a weird, like, greenish design. And, uh, like, he still looks similar to Falcomon. Maybe a little skinnier. Falcomon's got, like, a bigger head. But, uh, yeah, I, I threw that one in there because when I found it, I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, I thought I might throw some people for a loop. Uh, I have no idea what this week's going to be. So let me just check. Do I have Seedron on me? Um, I don't. I should switch him in. So we're gonna go to is it Hard Mountain? I know I completely fucked up the name last part, but uh let's see where are you come on. Hard Mountains, excuse me. Um Yeah, so a couple things. Uh someone noticed that I put Seedramon in the dragon uh farm, which if you look it says only sixty percent growth rate, meaning he only gets sixty percent of the XP he's supposed to get. I gotta be honest, when I put someone in the Digimon farm, I don't give a flying fuck about the XP it's gonna give, because it's paltry. It's it's useless. I mean, it's barely worth counting. Um, uh, let's, speaking of which, let's do that right now. Okay. Um, like, I just, I don't... Like, the only thing I'm worried about for Digimon farms are the stat raising. So, like, the cannon, the punching bag, etc., etc. So, um... Let's see here. Where is he? Where the hell is he? Did I put him in, not even in a farm? Am I, am I losing my mind right now? Is that him? Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. <clears throat> I was looking for a Seedramon. It was a Betamon. Common mistake. Um, but yeah, so I don't really pay attention to... Well, I do pay attention a little bit. Um, I put them based on what stats I want them to have. Uh, not based on XP or anything like that. Uh, I've tried like, like going end game and um, what do you call it? Like, say, like here's a good example: is Anti Lamont needs four thousand or eight thousand, whatever it is, eight thousand five hundred, I think actually. Uh, darkness experience. I would put them in a dark farm, which has really high XP, but it's still like a thousand a day or something like that. It's not worth it. You could easily just go and train for like an hour and be done. Um, so I'm recording around 3 o'clock. This should be, uh, it's on Friday. This should be, like, the newish time when, um, I record. Because, uh, I have a pretty set schedule. So, um, my roommate's on the football team, so he goes off to his games. I don't feel like I'm bothering him by recording or anything. So, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Um, so yeah, I, Digimon is pretty easy to turn around, so, but, um... It's probably up by like 6 o'clock latest, um, especially since the upload speed here is crazy big. Um, but uh, yeah, I ugh, it's hard to focus because I have a couple younger Digimon and they level up pretty quickly. <clears throat> um, yeah, another thing is um, none of these Digimon forms are like set in stone. Like, the reason I'm going to Justimon with um, Rex with a W right now is because it's just something to do. He's not going to reach a uh, regular Wargreymon. He doesn't have enough dark experience to reach uh, Black Wargreymon. But it's not like it's permanent. Uh, there are no permanent changes to my team until uh, I unlock all the areas because that's when I have like the highest potential for XP. I just did my controller against the desk. Um... Like, um, the last area, there's a lot of dark Digimon, like it's a perfect place to level up dark. But there's another area before that that has, you know, some good dark ones too. Gotta be honest, don't know why there are machine Digimon here, only because Junk Factory was like, what, like right before this? And there's tons of machine Digimon there. It seems a bit overkill. Um, <clears throat> what else though? Um, so yeah, nothing set in stone, like, um... Everyone's constantly shifting. My only goal is to try and get them to touch as many different digi uh, digivolving lines, digivolution lines, as possible. 
so um they can get like the best traits from each. Like uh, that's the whole reason I haven't bothered with uh, Rise Greymon. Like it's a good Digimon. It's not like, but he doesn't level up anymore after that. So is it worth it? Yeah, because he's got a, his trait is heroic power, which is like plus forty, which is a really good trait. Um, so you know, just worth it. Plus, you know, if I by constantly switching them, their aptitude is constantly changing, and uh, that's good too because. Um, I don't want them to hit max level and just not be able to level. Hey, friendship digi egg. Wow, that was really lucky. I knew I was going the wrong way too. Um, so <laughs> I want to talk about when I record co-op let's plays for a second. So I just released Payday 2. Uh, me and Carlos recorded for like an hour and a half, so I split the video into two parts, um, and part one came out. Uh, <laughs> so we recorded on Sunday. I asked him to record on Friday. He said okay, and then told me, oh, I can't make it. I'm like, god damn it, why don't you tell me earlier? So then Saturday comes around, and we're trying to record. He's like, okay, I've got like an hour. I was like, alright, well, let's, you know, hurry up. And he's like, wait, I don't have my stuff set up. I'm like, I've, you had like an hour, like, it was me who needed, like, I was like, I can do it here. And he's like, okay, we'll do it then. I'm free before then a little bit. And, um, my controller just come on. Are you kidding me? I don't have time for this. Um, so, he, um, I could easily pause this, but I'm going to lose my train of thought as it is. Um, so yeah, he, um, I'm, see, I told you. What did I tell you? I'm going to lose it anyway. So we have an hour, and, oh, what the hell, how high are Metal Mommy Mom's uh, agility? Or whatever. Um, and he's, like, setting it up, and he finally sets it up, and then, um, like 20 minutes into the first mission or whatever we were doing, he was like, all right, I've got to go. I'm like, fucking kidding me? And this is, honestly, he did this the weekend before, too. I'm just like, I need a video to get out. I can't, like, I don't have a backlog anymore. I'm asking you this as a favor, all right? Just don't tell me you, you can do it, or if you can't. Like, so then Sunday comes around, and we record for a while, and right in the beginning and you can tell if you watch the beginning of the video I'm, I'm already pissed at him because for a reason I won't mention and for a different reason uh, I'll say it he had someone in the room with him all right while he was recording someone I don't know and you know what that's fine just he didn't tell me he had to wait until like 15 minutes in or 15 minutes as we're setting up that like he happened to mention it or they happened to speak up for a second I'm just like like, I don't care. I really don't. What I don't care is, what I care about is when you don't tell me first. That's an invasion of privacy. I think the two of us alone are, I'm saying stuff like that. Anyway, so other than him pissing me off, royally, like it was his goal. <clears throat> so you can tell, like, right in the beginning when I'm syncing the video, which I meant to cut out, to be honest. Uh, I missed it, because uh, it was just a pain in the ass to edit that thing. So I spent all of my um, night Monday editing. No, wait. So, he must have screwed up on Sunday, too. No. How did this happen? No, we ended up recording at like 4 o'clock on Monday. And then I spent the rest of that night um, editing it. And I finished at like 12. And I'm like, i got to go to sleep. I'm moving in the morning. Uh, back to my apartment. And so I... Oh, what the hell? Come on. Uh, I haven't done anything. I feel guilty. But whatever. So I'm like, yeah, we... You know, I'm gonna edit this. The pain in the ass. Here's what I find out after we record. He and I, over the course of Let's Play, I'm like, you know, we're having fun, so I like kind of forgive him. And you know, it is, it's, it's a good video. I like, honestly say it. I think both the videos are gonna be pretty great. But then the news that I fucking should have known was gonna happen. So if you've been listening for the past couple weeks, Carlos has a capture device identical to the one I have. Uh, I gave him my old laptop. So he can run it on that, because he has a shitty Mac. I'm not saying Macs are shitty, I mean, I don't really give a shit if you have one. I personally don't like, don't prefer them, but I don't care if you have one. I mean, by shitty Mac, I mean, like, it's a shitty computer that happens to be a Mac. Um, and we're, we're there, and then I find out the magic fucking words. He wasn't recording. He had his audio going, he did not have his video going. Because, and... I don't know if I've ever shown it. You know what? I'll pop it over right now. You know, I'm 
the way I'm recording now is kind of bullshit. I'm not like I'm not actually recording the game. I'm recording the screen of me playing the game. All right, what do you got here? Flee? No, you don't need to flee. Get out of here. Um, yeah. All right. So let me pop it open. No, come on, load for me. I know you probably don't. For those who just watched the Digimon parts, I don't. You probably don't care. See that? See this right here? This giant red button. Uh, you press that and it records. Super easy stuff. And then it automatically records a little bit, which is why the timer starts. But so that this motherfucker thought that because when you press it, it like it glows yellow. Um, he thought, oh, I thought it was just automatically recording. And when I press yellow, it stops it. Like, why would you, why would it just automatically be recording when you're not even, I was so fucking mad. I'm like, this is the third time we've been trying to do this. I, I can't believe it. We just played the entire mission. You didn't have anything. And I was just like, <sighs> so after learning that, uh, and you know what? I was excited because I'd, I'd like to practice multiple screen editing for Let's Plays because it will make me a better Let's Player. And he took that away from me. Where the fuck am I going? Starting to bug me. Um, and I was just like, I just, he, I really got the air that he just didn't care. Like, I understand as someone who's not, it's like, he doesn't run the channel. All right. I'm very invested in all of this, but to him, I don't know. He's never outright said it, but I got, sometimes I get the feeling he's like, Oh, it's just videos. Who cares? And I've never thought that. Um, like I've always taken this with. As much, I'm not saying it's like the most serious thing in the world. It's not, all right. Do you remember the first like year? All I would, like, I would make sure to make one penis joke in every video. Uh, the only reason I stopped is because I ran out of penis jokes. But um, it's just like, you know, just give some effort is all I'm asking. So anyway, back to my original point. I spent all night Monday um, editing it, like when I should have been packing. I packed in the morning. Everything was fine, but. And then I purposely waited because to upload it from my house, it would have been uh, eight hours to upload it to YouTube. That's how long it was with uh, PS3 games. Because, uh, first of all, PS3 games are harder to edit as it is. Co-op PS3 games are even harder. Like Ratchet and Clank at home, the reason I only did one Ratchet and Clank Let's Play, I think it was like the last part, uh, at, at home was because... It took eight hours to upload that, and it was a shorter one. Like, it was like half an hour or something. Uh, it might have been 40 minutes, but I was just like, I can't, I can't do this. Like, I can't keep doing these. Like, that's way too long. Um, like, I've gotten used to here. So, Payday was like, it's a 50 minute video, and I was like, there's no, this will take way too long to upload. So, I, I waited until I got to school. Immediately when I got here, like, here was the plan. I was going to move in, and then my dad was going to take me to the grocery store. So I could pick up like supplies and stuff like that, uh, well, stuff that I didn't want to pack. And then I was gonna come home. Before we left for the grocery store, I was like, I gotta set the internet up and I've gotta do this really quick. And he's like, Are you sure? I'm like, it's it's important. He's like, all right. Uh, so I spent like 20 minutes sweating my fucking tits off. I mean, why did I say tits? I'm like, guy. Why didn't I say balls? Uh, sweating my guys off, my balls. Sweating my balls off because it's humid as hell. I'm sweaty from moving everything. Uh, and then, uh, the AC was working. Remember I bitched and moaned uh, all last semester that our AC never worked? It works now, so that's nice. Um, and I finally set it up. First of all, I'm not even supposed to have it. Uh, like I complained about last time, that I had to buy my own router. Well, apparently they have campus Wi-Fi wi now. Like, there's a little box in our dining room. I'm still going to keep using mine. Because this way I can connect to my PS3 and stuff. Uh, and I gotta be honest, it's probably faster. Because I pretty much... Oh, are you kidding me? I just go in a circle. Malarkey. Oh, you know what? I need to find one of those pipes, don't I? I want to say there's one near where the Digiega Friendship is. Um, and uh, so, and I, so, listen. When I said that, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I, I'm so glad to be back. Upload time, payday 2. 32 minutes. It took 32 minutes to upload a 50 minute video. Um, and that would have taken forever at my house. So, But then I wasn't sure. It was still Tuesday. So it was like Tuesday afternoon I uploaded this. 
Payday 2 Part 1 did not get many views. I gotta be honest, it was a funny video. Uh, and Payday 2 Part 2 is gonna be even funnier. Because uh, it's an even cooler part of it. Not just funny, like it's an interesting thing to watch, I think. Um, like, we're Robin Banks. What more do you want? Um, I know just... Uh, so, it disappoints me because the same thing happened with Destiny. Where it's like, it's a pain in the ass to get him to sit still for an hour just to record. We finally record. And, you know, we had fun doing it. But it's like, I think they're really good videos. And they take so fucking long to edit. Because I don't know what it is about Carlos, but his audio is constantly the one that fucks up. Like, not, like, permanently fucked up, but, like, to a point where it makes my job much harder, because I have to go along every five minutes make sure both of our audio is synced. I do it with Payday 2, which is why I put a disclaimer. Like, if there's audio problems, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Like, I watched the entire video, and I had to constantly keep chipping his audio away. Um, like, for some reason, his audio was going faster than mine. But, um, yeah. So I just, you know... It's very discouraging when no nobody watches the people. Like, even FTL got more views than this. Um, I'm, now, I'm just going to say it. I'm sure, because I know you guys love my videos, and I know you love me. So, I'm sure it's just because everyone else is getting settled into school, and you just don't have the time right now. Well, it's the weekend now, so I'm sure like you're, you're like, No, no, Nick! Nick, I swear... I meant to watch your videos. I'm just so busy. Just like you. We're, I'm busy too. I'm like, okay, okay. So it's the weekend now. You've got free time. Why not watch the Payday 2 Let's Play? Uh, and you'll be like, oh, you don't have to tell me. I plan to do that anyway. I don't want to insult you. Obviously, you, that's what you plan to do. Um, so <laughs> Too much? Maybe? No. Probably not, right? Okay. Um, but yeah. So I don't know what... Um, Next, I don't know what this Tuesday is going to be. Depends what I feel like recording, because there are four games that I'm currently like um, currently looking to do as the next project. Uh, not next project, as continuing the next one. So I'm either going to do Spore Part Three, which I want to talk about too. Uh, Spore Part One, 200 views. That's a little shocking. Uh, usually my non-digital videos don't really pick up that quickly. Like Magic Pendul has like 2,000 and something views, but that's only because I recorded it like over a year ago, uh, probably like two, almost two years ago, and it's just kind of been sitting in a playlist on my main page. So that one, I'm not surprised, but for Spore to get that quickly, you know, that's impressive. Uh, so I should probably continue Spore. Um, and then I want to do more Sly, and then I finally want to do another part of Kingdom Hearts, mostly because in like the first or second video I made a joke about um, how like, oh, I'm sure I'll finish this Let's Play by the time Kingdom Hearts 2.5 comes out. Thinking 2.5 would be like years away. Uh, nope, it comes out December 2nd or 9th, something like that. Uh, that's only a couple months away. I don't know if I can finish Kingdom Hearts in a couple months. So that joke quickly, uh, I mean, I got egg on my face. But yeah, it's been like eight months since part two. I did not realize it had been this long. So, um, I should probably get back to that. Um, what was the other one? Um, there's another game I wanted to do more Let's Plays in. Sly. Oh, and I want to do more uh, Ratchet and Clank, because I'm, I'm close to the end on that one, too. Um, uh, and I like, you know, the good diversity. I want to do more PS3 games, uh, even though they're a pain in the ass to edit. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's the current plan. Um, what else? I don't know. Oh, well, I'm sure I have shit to talk about. Let's consult my notes. Yeah, that was all off record. That was all no note stuff. Passwords, schedules, talking points. Oh, this is a cool thing. Uh, I totally would have forgotten to talk about this, too. Um, as I was leaving, um, you know, I had to stop working because I can't work at the convenience store hours away uh, when I'm at college and plus I just didn't want to I wanted to focus on my studies among other things and um, so my boss sent me a text and my boss um, I've been working for him for a couple years um, sent me a text hey uh, I added a couple hours to your uh, 
to your paycheck this week, you know, just uh, if you ever want to come back, your job is always open. We'd love to have you back. So my boss gave me a going away, like, bonus. I'm like, oh man, that was super nice. He didn't have to do that at all. And I'm very, very grateful. And my boss isn't normally that kind of guy. He's not cold, but, like, he's not, like, the friend. Oh, well, he is friendly. I guess he's just not friendly to customers, which, you know, it's kind of like I am. No, I'm not friendly to people either. Fuck people. I hate people. I hate my friends. I hate everyone. I hate you. Just kidding. <laughs> Totally, totally love you. Right, you guys are great. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Um, I have one other thing. I did not take notes this week. I should have taken more notes. Uh, well, I can still talk about my classes and stuff. <clears throat> so, um, you know, Plesiomon's been around since season one. I'm, I'm going to break away for a second because you need to talk about the game. I know it's crazy, right? Plesiomon's been around for a long time to the point where some, in some things... He was the mega form for Gomamon. Like, he's been around since season one. I don't think he was in the anime. And I don't know what games he was in, but, um, for the most part, he's just, he's not, it's not really been in anything. But, it's like, it's a recognizable Digimon. Like, Divermon had, you know, they had their bit parts. Plus, Yumon, I don't think he's ever been in anything. Uh, and then, obviously, Waymon is iconic. So, my dad is a giant pushover. Um, this, is, this isn't that personal, um, but like, you know how I'm kind of, I come off as like a dick, which, I, well, I don't, but like I'm a cold person, like strangers, fuck them, I don't give a fuck about strangers, uh, unless they watch my videos, but um, like I've told some stories about like working at the convenience store and stuff like that, where it's just like, I'm generally pretty, pretty cold to people just because I can't be bothered, but um, my dad is the kind of person who's like, you know, not to say he's a people pleaser, he hates people too, but he like puts on a better front than I do. Like he cares what people think about him. So like, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just like, it's probably a bad thing for me if anything. But um, so he did something that completely caught me off guard. Uh, he raped me. No, oh my god. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Jim Jeffries and that kind of stuff. He's like completely fine with those kind of jokes. Um, I'll talk about him in a sec too, because that's kind of interesting. Um, my dad, so, like I said, we went to the grocery store, and we came back, and this time, parking was a fucking nightmare. Like, we'd gotten there kind of early, so, moving in, we were, like, priority to move in, um, which was both of us. Like, I like being early because he taught me to be early, so he's still early, uh, to places, and, um... <laughs> So we come back, and he's driving his um, his wife's car, and apparently his his wife isn't a sh isn't a pushover. It's a lot more of a hard person than he is. Like, um, all right, now this is getting kind of personal. I haven't met her. I've met her once, I think, but um, she's a lot. She's kind of tough, um, and that's the most I really want to say uh, without divulging too much information. And so this is something I would expect from her, not from him. He, we're like looking around for a parking spot, and we're driving her car because apparently it's bigger. It was a fucking compact. It's not bigger. All right, the car he's driving now is my old car, and it was my old car was bigger than this. It was, it's a Honda CRV, and this was just a compact. I don't know what his was, but uh, anyway, uh, I, I keep I can't focus. You know, I, it's Let's Play syndrome. All right, you can't focus on one topic for that long. Uh, but anyway. So we're looking around for parking, and just, we're not finding anything because we get a, we've got groceries. I mean, I've got to lug them all the way to the building, so we don't want to park too far away. And I have enough where I need him to walk in with me, so we can't just, he can't just like pull up and drop me off. He, so he goes, hold on, I have an idea. He goes in the side console of the car, like the little cubby thingy, whatever. I don't know what's called. I don't know cars. So I sound like kind of fucking guy who knows cars. And um, he pulls out a handicap placard. I, I was like, oh, oh, wait a minute, what? It was, apparently it was for his wife's sister, like she, um, she was disabled, I don't know what it was, I didn't ask, but, uh, so his wife kept it in the car, and he pulls it out, and we pull right into a front handicapped parking spot, and I was like, this is the most badass thing I've ever seen you do, you're a complete pussy, I can't believe you just did this, and he... <laughs> 
And he was like, all right, well, we've got to hurry because I don't want to like leave it here that long. I'm like, totally talking about this. I don't even care. That's one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen. I've. This is not a movie, okay? You don't just... Someone doesn't just pull out a handicap placard and slap it on. I was like, what the fuck is this? So I was uproariously laughing after that. All right, I haven't checked any of Digimon in a while. But, uh... So yeah, don't call the cops on him, because he'll know it would be. I was like, I'm totally telling this in my next Let's Play. And he was like, you, no, you can't. And I was like, I absolutely am. No fucking way you're stopping me. When is he level 49? I'm going to swap him out as soon as um, Garrus is high enough level again. What is it? Is it 23 or 24 for Tracer? Mine is 24. And hopefully his defense will be high enough this time. For Cannon Dramon, because what I want to do is I want to get him to Cannon Dramon, and then my ultimate plan is to get him back to Gobrimon, to Ogremon, to Edamon, and then to Piedmon, because you know Piedmon's badass and he's got some pretty good uh, moves too. I think you can find Wild Piedmon soon, but um, it's just not the same. His is something. It's like is this is like 27 for yeah, so he's a ways off. And then I vaguely remember Starmon's is 38. His is 47. His is 49. And as soon as I get someone strong enough, I'll replace him for... Well, what I plan to do is, because Gallantmon requires a level 57 aptitude and 30 hours of playing time, which I'm not that far, but not that close either, I'm going to turn him into Karamon and then Kurosarimon. Then the worst Digimon in existence because he breaks the fucking rules. And then Diabaramon. Um, just because, why not? I mean, that'll be cool. I think Diabaramon has some pretty good moves, too. But, uh, it's like Gallantmon more. Alright. I think an event should happen soon. Um, so, because I'm in college, you probably want to know what classes I'm taking. Um, I will tell you. 9 a.m., uh, I have U.S. History 101. Which, uh, I'm an English major, so I mean, some of that translates to history. Like, I can't say, like, history is interesting sometimes. I want to learn about U.S. history, because we're a fucked up country, and I think it'll be interesting to learn about that. I do have one problem with my history textbook, and that's, it, it like, if you don't know, the term, uh, the term for the native people of this land is Native American. They're not Indians. The reason we call them Indians is because when Christopher Columbus... You know, he didn't discover America, but when he came here, he had thought he was in the Indian Ocean. Um, I think, no, when he landed in, like, the Bahamas and Cuba, so Central America, he thought he landed in the Indian Sea. Or he thought he was in the Indian Sea, so he thought that the Native Americans were Indians, and he called them Indians. They're not. They're, they're not. Indians live in India. It's not rocket science. And for some fucking reason, the names suck, and we've called them... Indians ever since, and that's wrong. Um, I do take issue with that, and like that's why the whole thing with the Redskins is such a fucking stupid thing. Like, it's the same thing as calling them the N word or the other F word. Um, like, it's just a word that people used back then. You can't use now. Like, the hell is wrong with you? And then people make the argument like, well, does that mean we can't have the chieftains or anything like that? And like, that's a different story. All right, you can work from there. It's not like this is a fucking floodgate. This is just something that should be removed. End of discussion. Anyway, um, the problem I have with that is my textbook explains that... Like, I knew this beforehand. It's not like I just learned this. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, that is common knowledge. Like, Google it. Don't don't come to me and be like, well, what about this? I'm like, no. Google it, or go to your history textbook and you look it up, okay? I'm not not here, alright? I'm a Let's Player. I don't, I'm not a history major. I'm not any of that. Stop it. Um, don't come to me with it. Um, but, um, so my, my textbook, after it mentions that that's why they're called Indians, uh, continues to fucking call them Indians. It doesn't change the language and start calling them Native Americans. I'm like, that's kind of fucked up. And then my professor does the same thing, and it's like, alright, and he's got like a slideshow, and he's like, something, something, the Indians. I'm like, what, what the fuck is it? Am I crazy? Like, and then I, you know, I messaged Carlos, and I'm like, this is, that's really offensive, right? And he's like, yeah, it is. I'm just, I don't know if I can know. His, one of his first questions was, was your, was your textbook written in Texas? 
Because for, to him, for some reason, Texas is the most racist place, and that's not true. We have a whole middle of the country, but that that's something I shouldn't really get into. Seriously, controller? You gonna do this to me again? Again, I could pause, but, you know. It takes like 10 seconds. Okay. I do need a new controller, because it's getting a bit ridiculous. Um, so that's U.S. history. <laughs> my first class at 9 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I have another class Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12, um, which is, uh, I don't even want to say it, is college algebra. Now, if you listen since the beginning, when I was still in school, uh, at Cape Cod University, or not Cape Cod University, huh, I wish, at Cape Cod Community, um, I was taking algebra then too. That's because when I was in high school, I took Algebra 1, which is normal, that's the like, first level of Algebra, and then I taught, and then I took, um, I took, or I think it was called Algebra 2, yeah, so I took Algebra 2 in freshman year of high school, passed it, got like a C or a B or something like that, that was like all my high school grades, and then in sophomore year, took Geometry, again, that's what you, that's just the next level of progression. Uh, in junior year, you could choose between college algebra and be done. Uh, I don't know. It was called advanced algebra, and because um, you only needed three years of math, and I was like, "Well, fuck math." It's not like I have a problem with math. I can do it. Or I can do it perfectly fine. I can learn it perfectly fine. It's just um, I'm one of those people who's just like, like I said, I'm going to be an English major. I must have known. I just there's not really a super big need for me to do math. Uh, like, I understand basic algebra. I don't need to learn anymore. Um, so, that was my mentality. The problem with this was advanced algebra, which is the algebra I, I was doing, I did in Cape Cod, and the algebra I should be doing now. Um, the teacher went on maternity leave, and we got a substitute teacher for like seven eighths of the year. And I was in a class with Carlos in that class. And we pretty much shit on the teacher the entire semester. The entire class did. And nobody learned a fucking thing. And then I got to Cape Cod Immunity, tried to test out of algebra. Did not test out. Had to take pre-algebra. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I've done this shit already. The only problem I have is like the very end of this course. That's the reason I failed the placement test. So I didn't place out of that. And Or no. I think I dropped that class. And then... I studied a little bit on my own, placed into the one just before regular algebra, and I was like, alright, whatever. So I did, or placed into the one, placed into regular algebra. So I did that, oh, fuck, it's by human. Um, and, yeah, 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 come on. Um, so I did that, and I'm trying to think, I lost my train of thought, and I'm trying to recover it. Plus, wasn't really expecting giant over giganto over here. <sighs> Wasn't ready for this. Um, MP plug might be good. I don't know how much MP he actually has. Do I have an MP full? Ah, I have a soma. That could help. No, I don't have. Many, I don't have very many of them. Let's see. What do I have for MP? Do I have nothing? All right. Let's look, 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 look. HP, HP, HP. I only have ROMs and plugs, that's annoying. Um, alright, why not? Give me something here, come on. Alright, that's good enough. <clears throat> but, um, so, I sucked it up and I took regular algebra. And it was, you know, I passed. I think I got the same thing. I got like a B or something. And, um, then I took uh, so I dropped out, or I withdrew, with, dropped out, withdrew, same thing, and then I didn't take anything for like a year, so I dropped out in April, and then didn't go back until January here, so last January, and I didn't take math right away because I didn't know um, what my, my requirements were, I didn't know if I had to take math, so, wow, that was super easy. Um... And I can't brain today. I come on. I'm trying to because I'm trying to think of what Digimon needed Digivolve. I'm trying to think of did I beat him? 
I think I have like a thousand things at once, and I can't use my mouth to communicate that. Um, what was I talking about right now? Okay. So yeah, basically a year off, and then I didn't take math last semester because I didn't know how to use my schedule, so I basically just picked classes I thought an English major should take, which I got close. Um, there was one class that was redundant, but I'm fixing it. Anyway, so I'm taking algebra now, and like I remember doing this stuff, it just like, I just can't, like I remember it, like the subjects itself, uh, I just don't, I'm not like 100% remembering it, so I have to take it again anyway. Anyway. The professors are right. I have no, no problems with them. Um, but, um, I just, you know, I just, I just want to get over with. I've taken the same fucking course so many times. I just want to be done with it. That's the big complaint. Um, what's the other one? And then, later that day, on Monday and Wednesdays, not Fridays, which is why I'm recording right now, um, I have a class called Creative Writing and Fiction. So we write fiction stories, and that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I'm going because I'm an English major because I want to do comedy writing, but I like fiction too, obviously, with the amount of video games and stuff I play and the amount of RPGs. Uh, so that's interesting. The class seems like it's going to be fun. I'm excited to keep doing it. I know a couple kids in it because it's finally an English class. And then, um... <laughs> Alright. I'm basically going to tell the exact same story I just told, but with a different subject. Uh, 220 defense. What's his defense now? Yeah, I think I'm going to make it. Um, so, similar to my math problems in high school, I had a similar problem with foreign language. So I required you to take, um, two years foreign language. I think it were required. It was two or three, something like that. And, um, I took Spanish in seventh grade. And I didn't like my teacher. And, uh, like... If I've mentioned before, in seventh grade, I ended up finishing the year with 83 detentions, mostly for like homework and stuff like that. And eighth grade, I had like three detentions, maybe. Again, homework. And then I'd never had a detention in my entire high school uh, career, and I've never been, I've never got, I don't know, what do they use in college? Demerits? Never been punished at all in college. But, um, so I didn't like seventh grade. And then I moved, so I, half of eighth grade, I took Spanish somewhere else. Uh, and then the other half of 8th grade, uh, I took Spanish back in situate. And, I mean, the great state, city, Massachusetts, whatever my joke is. Um, and, uh, my hometown. And, like, I barely passed. I think I got, like, a C or a D. Uh, which was new. I didn't usually get Ds. Um, except for my biddies. Yeah. That sounded a little unnatural. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you sit with that while I open this other water and start drinking because uh, I'm embarrassed for all of us for that one. Yeah, still regret it. Um, but anyway, and then freshman year, I took Spanish one. I could have taken Spanish two because I, at that point I'd taken two years of Spanish. But I was like, fuck it, I want an easy class. Uh, what do I have? I can. S I can imagine her. I don't know her name. But, um... I passed that class. No. Yes, no. I dropped out of that class. Because I didn't like the teacher slash... I just fucking don't like Spanish. Uh... I skipped it. And then junior year, they were like, You need two years of Spanish. What are you fucking doing? Or no, you need two years of a language. What are you doing? I'm like, not taking the language. I don't want, I don't want to take language. Leave me alone. But, um... Uh, they forced me to, so I took Spanish one, again, and I finished, and I got an A in that class, I think. And then I was like, all right, do you want to move on to Spanish two? I'm like, nah, I'm gonna take French one. You want two years of language? I'm just gonna take two different languages and take the base of both of them. And then I took French one, passed it, and I thought my days were over. Now I get here because there was no in Cape Cod community, there was no language requirement, so I was like, fuck them. Um, I think there were, but I was like, I only need to get enough to transfer, so I don't really need to pay attention to that. Turns out I did, and now they require me to take four semesters of the same language. So, fuck. Um, so I started Spanish. I have a friend who uh, took it with me, and so it's not that bad, but I got waitlisted. 
So I changed language. I was originally going to take French. Now I'm taking Spanish. I was fifth in line on the wait list. And my hope is that I can stay in the class. We've only had one so far because we started in the middle of the week and it's on Tuesday at 9.30. And I'm just like, ah, this would be such a pain in the ass if I can't take this. Um, my friend was second in line. She got lucky. And I was just like, alright, well, fuck. Um, and... So there's that. The class is fine. I mean, the prof this I actually prefer this. The professor is native from um, Venezuela, and English is a second language. And he like said right off the bat, like, I kind of speak broken English, so um, you know I'm gonna try and use as much Spanish as possible. I'm like, well, I mean, it's better than learning it from a white lady who learned it as like her fourth language, which had been my experience. Literally, seventh grade, eighth grade, other eighth grade. By other, I don't mean I, re I repeat it, I mean my other school in 8th grade. And then freshman year. And then... French was taught by someone who learned this as a second language, but my the Spanish I passed was another native speaker, I think. I think. Actually, I think he was from the Middle East, but he knew uh, like five different languages. His name is Mr. Haddad. Great guy. Um, oh, I do have enough Aquan experience already. I mean... I'd like to get Giga Siegemon. If I can get 10,000 Aquan by the time he gets 44, that'd be nice. Um, which should be, shouldn't be be a problem. There's tons down here. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to hit that no problem. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I prefer that. Like, And um, I think, you know, I think it'll be a good class. And then, the creme de la creme. The jizz in my pants. That's... <laughs> That's not a saying, but it totally should be. Like, when people say, like, the cream of the crop, or, like, the creme of the creme, the jizz of my pants. <laughs> See, the problem with getting a Metal Seedramon here, if you're going, like, oh, why did you get a Betamon so early? Because if you, the first thing you want to do so to make him stronger is you want to de-digivolve him, and then you can't get him back because you don't have the fucking Aquan experience. Uh, so it's much easier just to do it this way. Uh, I think Giga Seedramon is roams around um, only after you beat the boss here. Um, I think? Do, am I Tamer King yet? No. Fuck. Um, so why is it got gold trimmings if it's for the Platinum Tamers? Fuck you, game. Alright, just fuck you. But anyway, the jizz in my pants. I can't say it without laughing. Uh, the creme de la creme. My favorite class, and the one I was the most excited to take, is... Uh, I forget the official name of it, it's not comedy writing, it's like technology and something something in English. It's a comedy writing course, and at the end of the semester we have to give a stand-up routine. I'm like, perfect. Uh, it's like five to seven minutes of stand-up, like, I can do this. Like, for homework, it's like, read sections from a book by a comedian, or Sigmund Freud on comedy, who just... Huge buzzkill. Don't want to learn about Sigmund Freud's view on comedy. I used to be a psychology major. Freud's a weird dude. Uh, I don't really want him messing with... I don't want his peanut butter in my... his. I don't want his psychology peanut butter in my comedy chocolate. So, he can get out of there. You can absolutely quote me on that one. Um, but yeah, weird stuff. Um, I have to do that. But uh, for homework and stuff like that, it's just watch stand up routines. Like watch Dave Chappelle's Kill Him Softly, which I've seen like a hundred times. Watch Louis C.K., Richard Pryor. Um, and I'm excited because you also have to write like a comedy essay and stuff, which I have like 10 pages of material written at home. But, uh, you know, I can write it from memory still. Hopefully. Probably. There are stories I've never even told in Let's Plays. And I say that. Not as like a tempting type thing. It's like, should I ever do stand-up? Hopefully, you guys would also watch that. And I don't want you to just be like, ha, huh, I remember that story. It was it was, it was was funnier when he said it. Well, it was in part 67 of Digimon World X. Um, <laughs> solve for X, which didn't know. Okay, no math jokes. They're not funny. They're too serious. Um, but... Yeah, I'm very excited. Except, and it has like a bunch of people from uh, my other English classes, which is nice. Except, and I, I, I fucking kid you not, there's a guy in there who says like, like we went around the room and this guy was like almost last. Uh, first of all, he's like 60 something. He's like 65. Uh, too old to be in a normal college. Community college, fine. I'm completely fucking used to seeing people like that. 
not a real college. Real college, I want to see age, I don't know, 18 to, we'll say 27. And he is too fucking old. So, he says, alright, first of all, and I'm giving him too much credit, because he did not say it this quickly. He said it very fucking slow. <laughs> I do like this. You're not paying attention. Uh, he tried to summon uh, Giga Siegemon and said it was a uh, uh, Marine Angemon who apparently ate the Giga Siegemon. Or when he when he he usually sleeps here, Giga Siegemon attacked it and he just kicked the shit out of it. But um, and then Marine Angemon fights for him for some reason, even though it's a good Digimon. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, so the guy's like talking really slowly and says, "I write." anti-government science fiction and I'm very anti-establishment and I don't think anything is funny I don't like comedy uh, I'm here to either try and see if you can try and change my mind or see if I can learn something but I just want to warn you I don't think it's funny I might I'm just, I might say things that people don't agree with or are very offensive I'm just like what the fuck really this guy's in my class Jesus Christ, this was going to be a great class. I like the people in it, I like the teacher, I like everything. Ah. And, um... So, the class is an hour and 15 minutes long. I swear to God, I would forget about him for like 20 minutes. And so would everyone. Like, we'd all be having a fun time. And then, like, he would say something. And I would just, like, turn my head and just, like, look at... So, like, a person I knew next to me. I'm just like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Like, ugh. I, I want nothing to do with him. I just, there's going to be an increasingly big problem, and I'm just like, I don't want. Now, I've told this. I told this to one of my friends who I had a class with last semester, and we had a similar guy. He wasn't this bad, but like he would just constantly talk and constantly interrupt the professor and stuff like that. And we would just look at him. We would just look away and be like, this guy's so fucking awkward. But um, like so, my friend suggested maybe it's an act. Maybe he's like doing an anti-comedy thing, and like that's his shtick. I'm like, no, this guy's just genuinely an asshole. That's what someone else suggested. I'm like, no, he's an asshole, all right? You can't see, but I'm pointing, like, is it Ed? No, I'm pointing, like, the guy in Shaun of the Dead, Ed and Sean's roommate. When he goes, sort, sort your fucking life out, Sean. And he, he's got his ring finger. I had to think of what finger that was for a second. And middle finger out, or in, and then he's pointing with his thumb, pinky, and pointing. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. Like, it kind of looks like the rocks, you know, like, yeah, love, but, like, pointing with it, and it looks very intimidating. But, uh, yeah, not his fan. And, uh, I hope he doesn't ruin that class for me. So it's a good thing we're almost done here, because I had just run out of shit to talk about. No, I didn't. Uh, so I got Minecraft for PS4, and I think I talked about when I played Minecraft for his PS3. I platinumed it. And they added a ton of extra trophies. Uh, like, the Xbox version has 12 achievements. The PS3 version has more than that in trophies. I don't know exactly how many. I think it's like 32. Like, it's significantly more than Xbox, and it's like harder to platinum. And they had some really good ones. And then the PS4 version, I swear, has like 20 more. I didn't actually count, but there's tons more uh, trophies. Like, since, um, to encompass the recent updates. And some that don't even encompass the recent updates. Just, like, some skill ones. Like, if you know anything about Minecraft, like... There's one to have all 16 colors of wool, and that's like a little mini quest. I like those kind of trophies, where it's like, it's something you might not do on your own, but it'll be like a fun little side adventure you can have. Um, what's another? Another example of that I can think of is Fallout 3 to collect all the bobbleheads. Um, you know, it's not required, but it's definitely a fun little thing to like go around and explore the places that all the bobbleheads are. So I love trophies like that, and I'm incredibly excited to platinum it again. Um... It should come out for Vita soon, too. And you can up, you can upload your save from PS3 to PS4. You can't do it yet, but they are going to do it eventually. Um, oh, so this is when he takes uh, Zoo Quaymon. There's Zoo... Yeah, Zoo Quaymon. He caused me to waste my own friends. Okay, hold on. Can I stop for a second? The music... I'm going to stop talking for a second. The music in the background for this moment is way too inappropriate for what's, like, going on. Like, it's way too upbeat. Alright. Look at this. Uh, 
That's the evil ring. Why do you? Is it unknown deeds? Spring or you got only that? This has been modified to manipulate a Digimon of any strength. Not Zuquemon. See the Angemon. Members of the Four Beasts. Guard Zuquemon. We can't hold it off the dark power of the ring. See, I don't actually see anything happening, so. Uh, seriously, you guys are the four, like, sovereigns. I try to remember the word. You, you're telling me you can't beat one fucking guy? Ah. Uh, Lava River. That's the place I'm talking about. Lava River has some good Dragon Digimon and some good Dark Digimon. So that'll be a good place to train and level up and stuff. So I should probably do that next part and then do more Tamer quests after that. Um, being careful not to let your guard down. I can't not read Tentomon without his incredible voice in the dub. Which is like, Super Shocker! I don't have anything against Tentomon. Oh, right. I meant to do this... At the end, or I might have done it anyway. Uh, what do you got for me? Do you have the Ikaruga sent you coming? Oh, uh, eleven. So you get the Rataka, whatever. Ikarugas would have been a much better name for it. But uh, yeah, we're at fifty minutes. I think that's long enough. This is a good cutoff point. Um, tune in next week when I have less to talk about because it's just me going to classes and then barely playing any video games. And if I do something on the weekend, I'll forget to to write it down and then I'll forget to talk about it. That'll be a whole, a whole big thing. Be sure to watch Payday 2 Part 1 because I gotta be honest, I really enjoyed, I really want to do more Payday 2 videos. I think they're fucking fantastic. It's, I think it has great Let's Play potential, both for humor and just like, like to watch. Like, they're almost like little mini movies because they're little heists. And... I've gotten really good at Payday, so I know most of the heists, like the back of my hand, like inside and out. Um, I'm just saying, you enjoy them, they'll be funny. And if more people watch them, maybe it'll be easier for me to get Carlos in a fucking room to sit down for like an hour. But uh, yeah, that's everything. If you hear a creaking, it's my chair that I don't like because it's uncomfortable. But um, have a lovely day or evening. Guess whatever Digimon I put up. I have no idea which one it is. I might even have to look for more new ones. And, um, yeah. Au revoir. Of course I fucking say au revoir. I'm taking Spanish, alright? Adios, amigos.